<clears throat> hey guys, and welcome back to Cameo. When we last left off, we'd gone into a uh, forest dungeon type area. Now, I have printed off the location of uh, all of the fruits, so we're not actually going to miss any, hopefully. Now, interestingly enough, there's 100 fruits in the game. But you only need 80 of them to 100% um, all of your characters, which is kind of strange the way they did that, but whatever, I suppose. Right, let's uh, have a little walk around. Hello. Yeah, I didn't much fancy spending about 7,000 hours uh, walking around trying to find them all again, even though, from what I remember, they're not that hard to find. But, you know. For the purpose of uh, recording. Ooh, hello. Well, this is interesting. And it makes sense to get them as we go. Alright. Well, you take that guy out, friend. So we've got one of these spawners. That's problematic. Not really sure if we can take that guy out, to be honest. Alright, well, let's help our elf friend out anyway. Whoops! <laughs> Remember, kids, friendly fire isn't. Right, he's dead. You got nothing for me, okay? I don't care about any of your things. We know what we're doing. Um, right, but I suppose just to shut him up, we'll have a look. We've still got a long way to go. Use Rubble's rocks to stun the sh Yes. Yes. We know that. You could at oh god, hello. You could at least tell us something we don't know, dude. Alright, there's two. Now let's chip these over. Might as well do them one at a time. Seriously, my man? Must you feel the need to shoot me in the back? There we go. Nice. Alright. Fools! We're going to have to do this a lot, aren't we? Well, okay. Oh, dude. There's a lot of these guys. Well, that's okay. Oh, these ones move. That's kind of interesting. Alright, well, we need to take them out if we can. Ouch. Uppercut seems to be the way to go about it. Come on. If I can get them both, I'll be quite happy. Or, you know, I'll settle for one. Nice. I don't mind taking the damage. We can soak the damage. And if we can use the right ability, that's also pretty good. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, shit. Don't switch to rubble. Uh, switch from rubble when you're waiting. Would be the moral of the story. Right, okay, that'll do. That stun feature is actually quite useful. It lasts a while, doesn't it? Good to know. Hmm, okay. Wasn't elegant, but it worked. Oh, hey, friend. You picked a bad time to emerge from your crate. So, I'm guessing there's three children then that we've got to save. Curious. Oh, God, one of you guys. All right, let's take the standard guys out first. Oh, dude, he's got a lot of health. That guy's throwing explosives at me, too. Boy, I'm going to stick those explosives where the sun don't shine. Come on. There we are. You're done, son. Now you. Oh, okay. Well, we can still kill him just fine. Good to know. It's just like screaming forever. Nice ambush, bro. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Yeah, there's a lot of these uh, 
shells for them to hide under. Luckily, there doesn't appear to be any cowardly trolls. So that's good. Um, let's be rubble. Oh, hey guys. Um, whoops. Well, that still works. Yeah, the trouble is, by the time you've got all your balls back, <laughs> the enemy has come out of the stun state. So I think that's just going to be muchly improved. Oh, you still got some health. Muchly improved when we upgrade that to do damage. Oh, we needed that health. We needed that health big time. Right, come here, my dude. Let me punch you in the face until you die. Now, where's that archer? Where are you? There you are, you little sausage. Okay, I got you. I got you. Boom! Yeah, those archers are a pain because they will run away from us if we get too close. Luckily, we can mitigate that by stunning them with boulder. You can really see how they really try and encourage the uh, swapping between the creatures. And it's cool. It's fairly effective. Really, bro? Really? Come on. Take your medicine. Thank you, little plant. Thank you kindly for your assistance. I know, hopefully there's no more... Oh, I say hopefully there's no more trolls. And then what happens? We run into trolls. Oh god, we've got elves here. Let's try and save our elves from being murdered horribly. If we can. Not that it matters, because there seems to be billions of elves. Makes you wonder how many elves are being slaughtered in never-ending battle. What a tragic waste of life, honestly. Hey, friendo. Surprise, motherfucker. Any more? Yeah, there's more. There's always more. Damn you and your spiky tentacles. Vines. I know what I mean. Right, bad luck. You're out of steam. Oh, come on. There we go. Which means you die. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was gnarly, but... Okay. Oh, wait. Do we have to feed a troll? Oh, okay. Maybe we just have to kill him. I thought that would count as him being killed. I guess not. Okay, let's move on. Let's roll on out of here. But flying's faster, so... Oh. Oh, dear. Hey, pal. Yeah, this is going to get worse before it gets better. How do we hurt you? Uh, oh, I wonder. Can we? Can we? Oh, sh shit. No. I'm guessing it's got to be to do with those explodey things. Oh, hello. Or is it? Ooh. Let's have a go. Can we? Yeah, so we can't just, like, charge into that thing. I'm guessing we can't fight that thing, then. Oh, no, we can. Oh. I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. He was... 
Not all I thought he was going to be. Oh, nice. Right in the spikes. Come on, my friend. I need to mine you for some hearts. Do you have many hearts on you? The more the better, bro. Because we are pretty much at half-life. Ah, sort of. We'll move on. We'll probably find some more if we keep going. Yeah, looks like we've got some boxes here. Ooh. And we got some friendos that aren't exactly friendly. Ouch! Wonder if we're gonna find Shrek. All these trolls. Oh, we died. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> wow, we got rolled over. Uh yes. Where's it gonna put us? I have no idea. Oh, gonna put us straight back here. That's not too bad. Right, let's take you out. Uh, so you can actually break their shields. That's nice. But it's those firebombs that really hurt. And, like, nothing's happened and we're already, like, half out of health. Which is... Cons Ooh! Yeah, those firebombs really sting. So hopefully we're going to get some more health. Nice. Yeah, they don't actually give us that much anymore, do they? Oh, God. These archers kind of hurt. But luckily we can sneak underground. Don't think they can hit us when we're underground. Come back to daddy. Gee, let's go grab that health before it disappears. Oof. Don't walk into the vines. That's bad. Stop running away. Oh. There we go. Just trim his toenails for him. Yeah, you really run out of health quick. Damn. Definitely had forgotten about that. Okay. Let's start progressing up here. Yeah, I don't think we can destroy these, unfortunately. It's only the wooden crates that we can destroy. Yeah. Sadly not. Well, let's go crack some more eggs. Green eggs. Ooh. Oh god. Hey guys. Welcome to the party. Boom. Um yeah, this slow mo like is kind of cool, but it was Come on. Come on. There we go. Die! Thank you. I was. N oh no, look at this. Um, oh, they're charging me. Can we, like, go underground, please? Okay, I guess going underground doesn't help you at all. Right, let's get. Can we just, like. There we go. That'll work. That worked nicely. They don't get stunned for very long, actually, which is concerning. The other guy's dead. Oh no, he's not dead. No running, kids! Bloody archers, they're gonna be annoying. But we do get a lot more options later on. When we can, uh. There's a character in particular that I'm thinking of later on that is awesome. It's like your main combat focus character. Although I think to like a limited degree they can all be used for combat. But some are definitely more combat orientated than others. Oh god. There's so many! Oh, <laughs> Rubble's just cool. It's like stunning everybody. Good. Come on. Change. There we go. Nice. Don't try and survive, dude. I like you green skins better when you're dead. 
There we go. Yeah, I wonder if they go pale when they die. Hmm. Why do I think about things like this? I don't know. Yeah, you can see the slowdown, like bullet time stuff gets really annoying. Yeah, so if they've got candles in them, you can't kill them. Good to know. You can kind of see how rare runes are as well. You don't get a lot of them. Oh god, not these guys. Yeah, he's really kind of short-ranged. In fact, I think calling Hummelweed short-ranged is an understatement. What the hell is that sound? Well, let's not worry about it now. Although, when you're performing the creeper, he can move pretty damn quickly. And again, I gotta say it, how good does this like game look for a, a launch 360 We're game? All that's left of the platoon sent out to save Hallis and the kids. Damn. The rest of my men were wiped out. Savage. That was savage. Okay. Sorry to hear that, my friend. I have some information for you. Ancient etchings show that these stone circles are actually platforms. There must be a way to activate them. Yeah, if only we knew. How striking. Right. Well, I'm all out of ideas. I can't restrain myself. I have too much power. Hmm. So I'm guessing we need to roll something on. Yeah, look at this fog. This fog is cool. Not bad. We only get like 10 from that one. Come on, give me some runes. I like the runes. The more runes, the better. Yeah, I'm guessing that that's... Alright, I'm just trying to have a look around, man. What? Uh, pass the vines with Pummelweed's creeper technique and climb the stairs. Pass the vi... what? What vines? Damn. He's talking about vines that we haven't even seen. Past the vines. We're living in 2019 and he's living in 3019. Oh, I see. You mean like up here. Oh, God. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's how you face plant. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's try that again, shall we? With a little bit less fail this time. There we go. Alright. Oh, that's what he's talking about. So basically, you told us nothing. Nothing that we wouldn't have figured out in like 10 seconds. Yeah, let's just kill everything first. At least kill all those anyway. What are you laughing at, Rubble? Alright, you're done. Let's grab all the coins up. Oh, dude, we can't actually, like, jump up. Cool. Don't want uh, to miss out any coins because I noticed the coins disappear after a while, which is a little bit sucky, to be honest. Uh, the hearts disappear as well. Which displeases me greatly. Come on. There we go. Destroy the nipple hive. Open wide, big fella. Yeah, man. There we go. 
So, ah, there we go. Okay. Cool. Well, whatever's controlling these vines needs to realize that it has no power here. So, let's chip some, uh... Oh, God. Come on. There we go. That's quite impressive that these stones can uh, hold up to such rigorous movements. Excellent engineering, I must say. Right. Come on. Take us higher. There we are. Not sure why that wasn't working then. Nobody cares what you think, book. Your advice is always obvious and late, but go on, entertain us. Now that you've raised the stair... So basically, now you've made a staircase, why don't you go up the stairs? No shit! Halas is depending on you, so don't let him down. Yeah, we know. You and your bloody advice. Honestly. Actually, if we hover, we can just go straight up. Bloody advice, my ass. Ooh. We have a boss. <gasps> my god, that's so Zelda, it hurts. I don't. And Harris is trapped inside it. Ouch. It won't be easy to defeat a demon like this, so study its attacks carefully. Yeah. Ooh. Right, well. There's some way. Yeah, so we can, like, hit these towards it, maybe. Might work, actually. Yeah, there we go. It's not actually too bad. Come on, you big ugly piece of wood. Hey, you've got trolls in your leaves? What's going on? Now you're throwing things at me. Well, that's just not on, is it? I don't know what you're laughing about, Twiggy. You're about to get a dose of reality. <laughs> well, if we survive the troll invasion, that is. Luckily, they do drop quite a lot of health. Yeah, 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 yeah. Laugh it up, Twiggy. I'm about to salt your earth. Don't you worry about it, pal. Oh good, more trolls. Just what we wanted. Glad you're being so generous with the green guys. There we go. I think the trolls are just going to continuously drop on us. So the quicker we can get this... Ouch! The quicker we can get this done, the better. Oh! Oh, hang on. I don't think that's right. Because that's not hurting him. Although that worked quite nicely. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. We need to seriously get some health back. Come on, give me some hearts, please. Thank you. It's very generous of you guys. You guys seriously need to pay up. I don't mean financially. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Luckily, they're not very strong, but that hurts. Nice. Plenty of health. For now, anyway. Luckily, he does do a lot of damage to his own minion friends. Oh, good, good, good. 
Right, you know what, Ortho? What were you going to say, buddy? Rubble's rocks may damage this de demon's innards, but you have to find some way to make him open his mouth. Yeah, I remember this one now. I thought as much. Right. See, really? Really? All we've got to do is wait for him to laugh. There we go. There we go. Have a little taste of that, my pedigree chum. Oh, you're dumber than I thought. <laughs> Choke on my balls, matey. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, laugh it up. Want some more? I hope you're hungry. Choke on my spiky balls. Not bad. Come on. There we go. Have some more. They're your favourite flavour, my friend. I know you likes them. Damn it. Thought I could sly one in there, but I guess not. Now, is he going to laugh at me? Or do we have to... Do we have to do more damage to him? There's a lot of health over there. No, I think he's... No, I think we have to hurt him again. Yeah, that's fine. But luckily, he's generating lots of hearts for us. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give cool. What are you talking about, mate? Where's my... There it is. Damn it. Oh, shit. These things expire. That's fine. Come on, get that one in there. Yes! Yeah, and that makes him twitch his hair. Which he finds ecstatically funny. He <laughs> just chucked that ass. Right, now, are you gonna. Yeah, now he's gonna have a laughing fit. There we go. Now we can have some more of our balls. Got plenty more where that came from, my friend. There you go. Laugh it up. You know, it actually reminds me of the big mighty poo. From Conker's Bad Fur Day. Hey, buddy. Not bad. I just wanted to say that you were great. In fact, you reminded me of your father today. Aww. Don't say that. I never knew him, but I've heard enough to know he'd never have let Thon get the drop on him like he did on me, which is why we're in this mess. Hmm. <laughs> King Solon was a great elf, but he wasn't perfect. Long before you were born, your father made a pact with the trolls and allowed them to live in the realm. Why would he let those monsters into our lands? They are brutes, but they're also surprisingly brilliant at making machines. I guess you'd have to be if you couldn't use magic. Anyway, Solon thought these machines would make all the tribe's lives easier, which at first they did. Unfortunately, a troll named Thorn, who was bigger, smarter, stronger, and meaner than any before, quickly rose to prominence under the Trolls' newfound prosperity. Many of us warned your father to be wary, but he was too preoccupied with finding the elemental sprites to truly notice, and flippantly declared that no Troll would ever dare defy him. Hmm. Then came the day that Thorn proclaimed himself King of the Trolls and set about to conquer all he surveyed. Much harm was done, and many suffered before your father came to his senses and was finally able to rout Thorn and again banish the trolls from the realm. Thorn swore vengeance, and Solon deeply regretted ever opening the door to such a monster. So don't you think you're the only one who's ever underestimated Thorn? Just promise me you'll never misjudge his power again. Yeah. I promise. Good. 
And that's enough idle talk, as you still have a long journey ahead. Which I am truly sorry my injuries robbed me of the honor of accompanying you on. Sure, buddy. But I do possess one thing you will find helpful in your quest to vanquish Thorn once and for all. Yeah? Ah, oh, nice. His name is Ash. And I'm confident you two will burn it up from here on out. Yes. Thanks, Uncle Hallis. You don't know how much that means. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a kingdom to protect and a troll king to bring down. Yeah, something like that. Cameo, can you hear me? Yes. Mystic, you won't believe it, but Uncle Hallis gave me an elemental sprite. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I wondered where those others were. Sorry? Nothing important. Mm. But what is, is that you must save the ancestors before Callus and Thorn take any sprites they might be holding. Yes. The ancestors will never give them up. Don't you see, you babbling book? They're taking them to the temples because the demons are strong enough to force the elemental sprites out. Oh. Then I'll just have to stop the demons, won't I? Very good. <laughs> Very good. Good cameo. Hmm. So she's the next one we need to save. Well, well, well. I see Lenya. Deep, deep underwater, trapped in the ruins of the water temple. Yay, most Corellis, temples. Most wicked demon of the infinite depths. Underwater? Then it's impossible for me to save her. Nothing is impossible to one who holds the whatnot. Head to the mountain falls and keep your eyes open. For if you are diligent, I sense you will find an elemental warrior capable of helping you reach the water temple. Trust me. And make haste. Mm. Fair enough. Okay. Well, now we have Ash, who's one of my favorites. We can. Oh, we're in 32 minutes, man. Where's the time go? I'm not going to have ages. I'm not going to be able to play this for ages yet. Yeah, Ash is a dragon. And he's like your main offensive character. He's he's cool. I like Ash. Let's go in here. Because now we have the power of flame. We should be able to... Oh. Sorry, I still I thought there was trouble afoot in here. I see you have everything under control. Let me just destroy everything you own. You don't mind, do you? There's a good beast thing. Cool. Now, who was the one that was under attack? Let's have a little look, shall we? Ah, I remember. I remember. It was you. But let's have a look in here first. Damn it! With the hearts. We don't want hearts. We don't want hearts, damn it. Right, let's go to work here. Yep, the flames will stop these from regenerating permanently. And his fire breath is just really good at destroying these. Okay. Because you can sweep it. But as you can see, he does... Uh... Oh no, look at that. Stamina does not stack. Stamina is unique to each... Uh... Each warrior, which is curious. Okay. Well, a look, lick of flame saves the day. Cheers, bro. Incredible! Just like that, the beetles are gone. I don't have much to offer, but please take this as a reward. Thanks, pal. I'll have it. Disgusting! Get it away. Get what away? What are you talking about? 
fool. Give me that. Now, was that a big one or a little one? Yeah, I was wrong. I thought the big ones were worth... Um, I think I said they were worth two, but they're not. They're worth three. So, they're really nice. What does it say again? Did we read this? Young single male. Yeah, I remember. Young single male. Um, let's upgrade Ash. What's Inferno do? Inferno greatly increases the length of the flame produced when Ash uses the fire blaze technique, but not the duration nor power. This increased discharge allows Ash to hit enemies from longer distances, keeping him safer whilst he's discharging. Mm -hmm. Let's change his skin. Uh, Griffin. That's cool. Armored dragon. Ooh, a bone dragon. That's kind of interesting. I like the armored dragon. That's cool. Um, right. What's incinerator? Ash's incinerator first must be laid, at which point it becomes primed for a short period, and then manually triggered when an unsuspecting troll is in range. When triggered, nearby trolls are sucked in and engulfed in a pillar of flame. Any incinerator traps not triggered within a short time will fizzle out and must be relayed. Eh, okay. Meh. Wildfire. What's the stas? Wildfire, an improvement over Ash's fire blast technique, fires three fireballs which split up as they travel to cover more ground and strike multiple targets, or a single large target dealing triple damage. Alright, cool. I like the idea of Inferno. So, let's upgrade Inferno give us a longer range. And we're going to upgrade the spirit. Because that is just really useful. And I think we should upgrade the spirit on um, rubble as well. Oh, we've already got spirit up on rubble. Okay. What else do we need for rubble? We need another four to max him out. Okay. So, that's better for Ash. So how... Oh, Ash looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a much gnarlier flame. Ideal. And it's going to last a lot longer as well, which is cool. Uh, am I trying to annoy you? Possibly. Haven't decided yet. So, anyway guys, we're on like 38 minutes. Damn, so I better stop. I'm enjoying this so much. But, that's where we are right now. So, thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.